Ah yes, alternate arts. The pinnacle of the Sword and Shield era, although they were first introduced during the Sun and Moon era, specifically with the team-up expansion. Now unfortunately a lot of them are quite expensive, this one is no different. And especially these ones right here, these Tag Team GX alternate arts, have gotten very very expensive over these past few months. Now I know what you're thinking. I should be telling you like cheap alternate arts, judging by the title, right? I will get to that. I will get to that, don't you worry. Let's get these out of here. As always, alternate arts don't have to be expensive. They can be had very cheaply. So let's get this out of here. Of course there are something like these, the Sandaconda V, which is... It's not actually the cheapest alternate art. I'm pretty sure the cheapest one is the Conkeldur from Pokemon Go. Um, but this is, I'm, I'm pretty sure, the, the second cheapest alternate art or something like that. Of course these are cheap. These are cheap for a reason. Maybe the Pokemon isn't very popular or maybe the artwork just doesn't do it for people. Um, so I won't, won't show you any of those. <laughs> now just a quick forward here. Uh, this actually isn't part of the list. I just wanted to make something really clear. I am taking the prices off TCG Player for this video because card prices in Europe are always slightly different. This one is a really, really good example. Um, in the US, specifically on TCG Player, the price has dropped a lot over these past six months. I'll probably put up the graph here somewhere, just so you can see that steady decline. And that is the case with most of the alternate arts, especially on TCG Player. Um, unfortunately, though, card prices in Europe are quite a bit higher, um, especially for this card right here. In Europe, this is like 160 euros, which is like, I don't know, $170, $180, something like that. Um, while on TCG Player, this card can be had for $105 or $110, right about there. Um, I still think that's a decent price, although this is a bit too expensive for the sake of this list. Um, just, you know, wanted to point something out real quick right here. Uh, but let's start it off with the first real card. Another card from, from Silver Tempest. Also, you got that, that, that budget Lugia up here as well, so if you don't want to buy that card, you can still have a Lugia in the, in the artwork. Um, this is the Reggie Draco. I really, really love this card. And this can be had, believe it or not, for like 12 or $13 right now. Also steadily declined over the past six months. As I said, most of these cards have gone down in price. Just as a comparison, like in June, this card was sitting at like $23. So it's gone down like $10. It, it appears to be that the, the market for the Sword and Shield era alternate arts is kind of crashing in a way, like maybe a little bit. Um, but anyways, that means we have some bargains on our hand right here. This is the first one, the Reggie Draco. The next card we have here is the Hizuian Sneasler V. A very cool illustration by one of my favorite artists, actually, Okacheke. Really, really cool looking. I just love the background especially. And the scenery of Sneasler climbing up the mountain, you know, as Sneasler does best. Um, this can be had on TCG Player right now for about $16.50 to $18. Right about there. Really, really cool card. Really, really like this one. Next up is this one, the Hizuian Lilligand V. I actually couldn't believe how cheap this card is. Um, as I've stated before though, that may be because the Pokemon isn't very popular, but you have to pay attention to the artwork. And for me personally, I love the artwork in this illustration. If you've watched some of my older videos, then you know I absolutely love cards that feature a lot of different Pokemon on here. What do we have here? We have like Starlies, we have a Pachiriso, we have a Seal. Um, we have down here also Basque Legion or something. So many. And it's also the Swine Up down here in the ground, which I've, which I've missed. Really, really cool card. Um, currently about 10 to $11 on TCG Player. Really, really cheap. Really, really worth the pickup in my opinion. Right here we have the Mew V, and I do believe this might actually be the most expensive card on this list. Um, from Fusion Strike, which is very, very notorious for the bad pull rates. Very, very notorious. Um, this one is currently sitting at about $27 on TCG Player. Um, just as a comparison, just a, a year ago, the price was sitting at like around $45, so it has also come down a lot in price. And it is of course a Mew. Um, you should buy every Mew card in existence because Mew is awesome. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. But this card is really something. Once again, we have lots of Pokemon in the background here. I can make out a Smeargle. I can make out a tox Toxicity. Um, what else is there? Is that a Hoopa or something? Don't know. Um, anyways, lots of different Pokemon there on the background. <laughs> really, really cool. Really awesome looking. Next up, we have the card that's actually featured in the thumbnail of this video. The Origin from Dialga V. Um, just a funny backstory, this is actually the Origin form Dialga V that I've pulled on the channel. Um, also, the first alternate art I ever pulled on the channel. So this is really something special to me personally. Um, value of this one though, value, $22. $22 for this card, which is insane. Um, it is illustrated by Mitsuhiru Arita, a legendary artist when it comes to the Pokemon space. Really, really cool illustration. Um, just a year ago, this card was sitting at about $53, so it also has come down a lot since then. Um, I absolutely love this card, really, really do the colors. Everything about this card is super, super nice. Now that isn't the only card of that trio, we also have the Arceus V from Brilliant Stars. Which is also another really cool illustration, this time not by, um, not by, uh, whatchamacallit, not by Mitsuhiro Arita, this time illustrated by Kavayo, which also illustrated the Lugia. Um, maybe we can see the art style right here, maybe it looks a bit similar, but same artist as the Lugia. So, really, really, really cool looking. Of course, you have Arceus, the god of Pokemon, um, just in the center. Um, in the background, you have the Sinnoh region down below, the clouds, the universe, everything. Such a cool illustration. Really, really, really cool. Let's see. Here is the last of the trio, of the god trio, if you will. Origin from Palkia V. Um, this is actually my least favorite out of the three. Still an awesome looking illustration by Oswaldo Cato. And this one is currently sitting at $23, so just $1 more expensive than the, than the Dialga. And this is also super, super nice. I actually wasn't sure on this when it first came out. Um, as I've said, this is still my least favorite of the three. I still do like the illustration, though, but I mean, come on. Just compare the two to, to these two, right? And you can immediately tell that, that these two are way better looking, in my opinion. Once again, not to say that this is bad. Um, once again, $23, um, in my opinion, absolute steal. I remember this one being kind of expensive. Maybe I'm misremembering things, but I, I, I guess Palkia V, or Origin Form Palkia V was kind of playable when it first came out. Um, this one was also sitting at like $53 to $55 a year ago. And it's now sitting at $23. I think this is a great point to, to buy these, honestly. I also have this Celebi V right here. This is one from Fusion Strike as well. You know, terrible, terrible set. Um, horrible poor rates, if I said it with the Mew. And um, this one is currently $24. $24 for this awesome looking Celebi V. Really love the background, and I especially love the fact that, like, Celebi is flying past these trees. And looks like it's, it's winding back time and making them blossom again. Um, which is also super, super cool to me. Of course, I love the snow. You have a big tree in the background right here as well. Super, super nice looking and an absolute steal at $23 or $24, sorry. Now, I also have these three. I've mentioned these um, in my past videos to talk about like cheap cards that are still very awesome. Um, the, the set of these three can be had for usually like about $15 to $20, uh, maybe $10 if you're lucky, but you get three really awesome cards, although I personally would recommend you buy the Charizard Premium Collection instead. Um, that one is still my favorite product, um, Sword and Shield era product. It might even still be, um, I, I might like it more than the Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection because of the variety you get from the, from the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. You also get some nice um, Evolving Skies packs, three packs, which, you know, every single Evolving Skies pack could have potentially this one inside as did my Ultra Premium Collection. Uh, you know, it's all it's all luck of the draw. I've opened so much Evolving Cries and not gotten anything. That was just really, really lucky. But yeah, these are awesome promos. Um, either, either way you pick them up, either you pick them up as singles or you just open a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, you'll be happy with, with the purchase of these. Don't you worry. 
Alright, that is unfortunately all the cards I have physically here. I do still have a few more recommendations, I'll just show them on the screen right now. First up, we have the Neuvern V from Evolving Skies. Um, this just looks super cool as well, illustrated again by Mitsuhiro Arita. And this is just so reminiscent of like Batman comics in my opinion. It looks super, super cool and it's currently sitting at about $24, 24 to 25 Next up we have this Golurk V, also from Evolving Skies, illustrated by Oswaldo Cato and coincidentally one of my favorite illustrations of his. Unfortunately I haven't come around to buy one for this episode, but then again I haven't been purchasing singles all that much recently. Still a very awesome car that is currently sitting at about $12. Right here we have the Lumineon V from Brilliant Stars. And this is currently sitting at also about $12. I mean, just look at the illustration. It's so colorful, so well done. I really, really love it. And it's I love especially the fact that it's drawn to be like underwater. I really, really like that effect. Right here is the Unknown V um, from Silver Tempest. You know, one, one more from Silver Tempest. Why not? Um, this one is currently sitting at... $17, about $17. You might have heard it on, on Twitter or Reddit or on YouTube, in YouTube videos. This card has absolutely crashed. And as I said, that is not the only one from, from the Sword and Shield era. That's not the only one. The price drop is actually insane for some of these cards. I mean, the Unknown V went from, from $43 all the way down to now $17. Just think about it. It's a great time to be a collector, isn't it? It's an absolute great time to be a collector. The last card I have right here is the Beedrill V, illustrated by Narumi Sato. Really, really colorful illustration. You had a lot of Beedrills, actually. The flowers look really, really nice. Kind of reminiscent of the of the flowers from the um, Gardenia's Vigor illustration from V-Star Universe. Really, really love that this card. This one is currently available for about $17. Well, there you have it. You could either have this card or all of these and then some. I know what I would choose if I had the choice. It's just so strange visualizing it for me personally. I mean, this card right here is worth more than everything on the table right now, even including the Lugia. If I do had the choice, though, I would probably choose all of these over this, this single one, honestly, just to fill up the binder. But there you go. I hope I did give you some choices here for cards that you might be picking up. Highly recommend you pick up this one. This one is super, super cool. Out of all of these, you know, besides the Mew, let's just exclude the Mew because the Mew is awesome. The Mew is the best card here. Um, this might be my favorite card on all of these on the table right now. Super cool looking, illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful stuff. Well, but there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos, perhaps. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the sub button. Click this one first, then click this one. Check out any of the videos down in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace, peace. Take care.